A bust of Lai Qingde was sold as part of a charity auction put on by a group of Lai supporters currently living in the eastern United States. The lifelike statue sold for 100,000 U.S. dollars, all of which will go to Lai's campaign. The statue's creator is a local artist currently residing in the U.S., but a few years ago, the sculptor was living in his hometown of Tainan when the deadly 2016 Southern Taiwan earthquake struck. The sincerity and care that Lai showed as Tainan's mayor still touch his heart to this day. The auction gavel strikes the podium, announcing a bust of a man has been sold for 100,000 U.S. dollars at a charity auction held by Lai Qingde supporters living in the eastern United States. And who is this statue immortalizing? None other than presidential candidate Lai Qingde. Upon seeing the lifelike statue, Lai Qingde himself gave his stamp of approval, saying it looked a lot like the real person. The bust is the work of Guo Jiaxuan, a Taiwanese artist from Tainan who is currently living in the U.S. When Guo heard Mayor Lai was going to run for president, he immediately went to work on a statue in order to help raise funds for his campaign. Guo's support for Lai is entirely based on Lai's response when Tainan City's 17-floor Wei Guan building collapsed in an earthquake in 2016. I remember it was some time before the Lunar New Year. No one knew what to do, but Mayor Lai arrived on the scene right away and he quickly established a disaster rescue center. We were local residents, and for several days in a row, you'd see the mayor on the scene every day. I remember one time the mayor was there in the middle of the night. It just really touched my heart. It just shows you what a politician can do. I'd say it was him showcasing what a doctor is meant to do. Guo said that back then, Lai wasn't sleeping as he watched over the high-rise building's rescue effort. This image of Lai remains in the residents' minds even after all these years. Every day we'd see him, and his eyes kept getting more and more bloodshot, which told us he wasn't sleeping. And then his shoes. I remember there was a photo that showed his shoes were coming apart, so I knew that this man is a hard worker. He wasn't putting on a show when this event happened. He's not like your ordinary politician. <laughs> Guo hasn't returned to his hometown of Tainan for four years, but he said he definitely will be back in January to vote and show his support for Lai Qingde, who Guo hopes can continue to lead Taiwan on his journey to becoming an influential nation.